Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at finding probabilities using normal distribution. We're going to use Excel to do it. So the average weight of an English Bulldog is known to be 50 pounds on average with a standard deviation of 3 pounds. We can assume that the weights are normally distributed. If we draw a Bulldog at random, what's the probability it will weigh more than 53.7 pounds? So we have our normal curve and we have the mean is equal to 50 pounds. And so here we have our value of x is equal to 53.7 pounds and we want to know what's the probability that they will weigh more than 53.7 pounds. So here I am in Excel and I want to use the function, insert function feature. And I want to use that so that it will give me a dialog box. So I'm just going to type in normal. Whoops. And I'm going to say go. And it's going to give me a list. And what I'm looking for is this one right here. That is normal distribution. N-O-R-M dot D-I-S-T. And I'm going to hit OK. So my dialog box is going to come up and we d identified our x as being 53.7. The average weight of the Bulldogs was 50 pounds. We had a standard deviation of 3 pounds. And now I need to tell it um, the logic argument for this cumulative function. So because I want a cumulative probability and because I'm dealing with a continuous random variable, then my logic value here is going to be true. And I'm going to hit OK. And so it's going to give me the probability as 0.89127. So now I'm back over here at my problem and we knew that we were solving for this area up here above 53.7. And Excel gave us a probability that was equal to 0, 8, 9, 1, 2, 7, 4. And what we know about that probability is that is the probability that x is less than 53.7 pounds because that's the way the cumulative distribution function in Excel works. So now I know that the probability from 53.7 below is this 891274. I also know from my characteristics of normal distribution that the area from 53.7 and below plus the area above 53.7 that that plus this quantity of data here is always going to equal 1. So I'm simply going to take 1 minus my 0.891274 and that's going to result in a probability of 0 0.108726 and I know that that's this probability here and I'm just going to round it to 10.87% if you've been used to using a normal distribution table with z-scores then it's likely that these two values these values beyond the decimal place are slightly off and that's really simply a function of how precise and exact Excel is so I know that the probability that a randomly selected bulldog puppy is going to weigh more than 53.7 pounds is 10.8 as always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching.